So I love Boba Fett. Like, love with a capital L, capital O, capital V, capital E. Yes, I can spell. I love Boba Fett with an absolute passion. He's always been one of my favorite characters ever since the LEGO Star Wars A Complete Saga game, just because he could fly around and shoot rockets and throw bombs and he was the ultimate weapon. Growing up, I collected so many action figures of Boba Fett, still do to this day, and he is my favorite character to collect and acquire things of without a doubt. The main goal was I needed to become Boba Fett. I didn't want to just have the action figure, I wanted to be the action figure. So maybe about a year or so ago, I made a Book of Boba Fett cosplay. Now, I'm not super happy with how that cosplay turned out, so I'm going and redoing a bunch of it. About 80% of it has been completely redone, repainted, new pieces have been bought, because I just wanted to be better. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I go about acquiring the paint chipping on Boba Fett's armor, because the weathering on Boba Fett is a very important part of giving his armor some character and depth. The best part about this method is that it is super inexpensive and very easy. The three things that you will need to accomplish this is literally just going to be a paintbrush, toothpaste, and of course your armor. Now before you actually use those uh, substances that I talked about, you're going to want to make sure that your armor is properly primed and textured. Boba Fett's armor has a very rough and bumpy texture, so I use some Rust-Oleum truck bed coating to go ahead and lay down that rough texture. It adds some bumps and a little bit more uh, of a feel to Boba Fett's armor, which I think is important. Now, once that metallic finish is actually put down, then we'll go ahead and use the toothpaste. And the idea here is to use the toothpaste as a sort of liquid-esque blocker so that when you put your colored paint down, you're able to just scrape the toothpaste off and that beautiful silver metallic finish is shining through, making it look like your Beskar armor has been scraped and scratched. The final step that I do is just get some acrylic paint and go ahead and dab around the scratches on the armor. All it does is help bring a little bit of depth to the weathering and make it look like there's layers to your scratches. So for example, on this Book of Boba Fett helmet that I made myself, uh, you can see he has this iconic scratch that is super identifiable as the Book of Boba Fett helmet. Literally all I did was just paint some toothpaste on in the form of the scratch and then went ahead and painted over it. It is a super easy process and I see a lot of people using liquid latex and all these different substances to do that and they have problems with paint being peeled off with the latex and it just seems like it creates a whole bunch of problems. Liquid latex is also a little bit harder to get a hold of and it's more expensive. Everyone has toothpaste in their bathroom. It's super cheap. You can go pick it up at any store and it works really well, as you can see. Building costumes and cosplays is not an easy task at all. It requires tons of patience, tons of time, and tons of passion. But if you have all of those things, you can make an awesome costume that will be totally worth it. The point of this video is to just help ease along that process. This is a super easy method that I really enjoy using. Not only does toothpaste smell good, it tastes good, so if you mess up, you can literally Anyways guys, I just wanted to get this quick cosplay video out there because honestly, I don't feel like I make enough of those. Let me know down in the comment section if you think I should be doing more live streams and more armor building and all that stuff. But guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this trick actually helps you if you are considering making a Mandalorian character or, or a Boba Fett or any sort of character that has armor and needs weathering. I hope that you can use it because it really is a very handy technique. Thank you so much for watching this video and as always, may the force be with you.